So that's the way you actually have to uh, practice the correct, playing correct rhythm. Be very strict with releases with polyphonic uh, voices. I, I'll, um, I'll, I'll give you a tip and advice how to practice this piece just in a seventh. But uh, let's talk about uh, the next um, point, about articulation. Okay, I already mentioned uh, how you how you supposed to articulate in the Baroque uh, composition, uh, which is uh, like uh, articulated legato. And uh, the way you could really uh, understand the, the touch is try to play with one finger only, one melody. For example, uh, third measure. Okay, I'll play with my uh, third finger. try to be as legato as possible with one finger only so if I play as legato as possible as connected as singing as possible with one finger only then suddenly you have the right almost or almost the right articulation there are a few other things to think about besides this uh, touch or uh, articulate legato here too but the most important thing is of course play the passage with one finger first and then imitate it later with all the fingers that you need but with the same touch with the same articulation that's the good very good way to practice okay so we talked about fingering uh, about articulation let's talk about uh, the registration registration is of course very important of course on, on my uh, little practice organs we have the flutes only but it's very appropriate if you add a little spice to the left right hand I'm sorry uh, the right hand could be uh, played with some 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 sort of uh, solo registration either a reed like oboe or a combination of flutes like eight four okay that could be or eight four and a fifth two and two thirds or uh, eight four and a smaller fifth uh, one and one third okay or even a cornea could could sound very beautiful if you have a an organ with um, with a tremolant you can use with your reed or the solo stop as well so that's the right hand the left hand of course works very well with um, with the flutes uh, any any kind of flutes could be two flutes together eight and eight could be or um, or a, uh, some sort of uh, baroque uh, uh, string stop like viola if you have a historic organ okay the the pedal part of course needs to be 16 and 8 okay soft 16 basically sub bass or um, a very soft uh, stopped uh, stopped uh, pipe but 16 foot range okay because uh, you see in in the original uh, version of this piece, orchestral suite. The bass is always played, of course, with the double bass, okay, in contra bass, okay, one octave lower. That, that's why we need this 16 foot. So, so 16 and 8 in the pedals, 8 in the left hand, and some kind of solo registration for the right hand. Basically, we need two manuals for that, okay. Okay, so how do we practice this piece? Okay, I explained the structure, fingering, pedaling, articulation, and uh, uh, the registration for you. But how do you really try to master? The best way to master this piece is uh, try to to play in short fragments or passages. Okay, if if for example two uh, or six measures is too much for you we can we can we can stop uh, after the first phrase like like here Only, because it has only 
the four voices you see. We can use uh, the system soprano alone, alto alone, tenor alone, and bass alone. Okay? Uh, that's very, very clever way to practice. Separate the voices and do them polyphonically. Each, uh, like uh, four different uh, instruments, like okay, in, or in orchestra, okay? And, uh, but, but only practice this short uh, fragment, like two measures at a time, okay? Or even uh, one measure if, if, if you are very in the beginning stage of organ playing, okay? If it's difficult. So, short fragment is separate voices. What happens next when you when you play, let's say you play three times in a row correctly, okay, with correct uh, notes, fingering, pedaling, uh, uh, rhythm, articulation, okay, and then if you notice that it's correct three times in a row, you can play uh, the alto version of this, okay, three times in a row correctly, then tenor, okay correctly three times in a row and the pedal that's the, the basic way to practice then we can combine either uh, do one of the two things either go to the next fragment and do each voice separately and then uh, again next fragment the next fragment until we reach uh, the end or we play the same fragment uh, to these two measures but uh, combining two voices, okay? Soprano and alto. Let's hear. downbeat okay I'll, sh I'll tell you why it is so important because uh, you see when you play fragment number one which is like uh, uh, two measures and then you master this fragment and then you play in fragment number two again two measures okay measures three and four second fragment if you if you if you practice uh, from the beginning Till, till the last note of the second measure, okay, and the next measure, measure uh, from the beginning of the third measure until the last note of the fourth measure. That's not a very good way because you don't have the, the possibility to connect these two passages. If we practice uh, from the beginning, one. here that's the beginning of the next fragment so you see and uh, if we practice correctly the first fragment we already connecting it to the next and when we start the next fragment we know already uh, how the connection sounds you see and uh, it's really important that we start and finish on the downbeat okay so uh, so you choose uh, uh, separate voices. Now we master two voices. Let's hear uh, now soprano and uh, tenor. Okay. One and by the way, it's very important that you count out, even aloud, okay, uh, loudly, um, uh, for yourself, of course. Even uh, subdivide the beats because it's uh, soft and um, slow motion, the soft uh, and slow tempo. Uh, we have to feel the pulse, the beat, and uh, the meter is of course 4-4, four, four, and we have to feel this um, strong beats, okay, Me uh, beat 1 and 3, and if you count loud, loudly for yourself, then you are uh, aware of the structure of the measure, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, and at the beginning it might be confusing for you to or to play and to count out loud but later on I, I'm sure you will be quite uh, used to this process okay let's try soprano and um, tenor <laughs> 